Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali. Dear scholars, so far as we have developed the IS model and LM model. Now in this video we are focusing on the short run equilibrium of IS and LM model. Dear scholars, uh, now there are all the pieces of IS and LM model are available. The two equations of this model are we have y is equal to c into y minus t plus ir plus g this is our is equation m over p is equal to l r y this is our lm equation is equation represent that output is distributed our output is the function of consumption plus investment plus government purchases and our real money balances is the function of uh, interest rate and output Okay, the model takes the fiscal policy G and T, monetary policy M, and the price level P as an exogenous variable. Given these exogenous variables, the IS curve provides the combination of uh, interest rate and output that satisfies the equation representing the goods market, and the LM curve that uh, provides the combination of interest rate and output that satisfies the equation representing the money market so let's see a graphical presentation for that uh, equilibrium in the is and lm model we have uh, income output y on x-axis and we have interest rate on y-axis and we have downward sloping is curve and we have upward sloping lm curve the intersection of is and lm curve will decide the equilibrium level of income will decide the equilibrium level of interest rate so the equilibrium of the economy is at point where the is curve intersects the uh, lm curve this point gives the uh, equilibrium level of interest rate in the economy and the level of national income in the economy this point also satisfies the condition for the equilibrium in both the goods market and the money market. In other words, we can say that at this intersection point, uh, actual expenditures equal the planned expenditure and the demand for real money balances equal the supply. So we can conclude that uh, IS and LM curve presents as the short run fluctuation in economic activities. So let's see uh, uh, what we have uh, gone through while finding the IS and LM curve for the economic fluctuations. Let's see a graphical presentation for that, uh, the theory of short run fluctuations. We have Keynesian cross and we have theory of liquidity preference. Keynesian cross provides us the IS curve, liquidity preference theory provide us uh, LM curve IS and LM curve jointly give us the IS and LM model IS and LM model give us the aggregate demand curve and we have the aggregate supply curve that aggregate demand and supply jointly provide us the model of aggregate supply and aggregate demand and that model of aggregate supply and demand gave us the explanation of short run economic fluctuation. So this symmetric uh, graph shows how the different pieces of the theory of short run fluctuation fit together. The Keynesian cross explains the IS curve and the theory of liquidity preference explains the LM curve. And uh, the IS and LM curve together yield the IS and LM model which explain the aggregate demand curve the aggregate demand curve is a part of of the model of aggregate supply and aggregate demand which uh, economists use to explain uh, the short run fluctuation in economic activities okay with the help of uh, Keynesian cross and liquidity theory we have constructed uh, the IS and LM model uh, and uh, the further uh, the derivation and the further 
uh, formulation of IS and LM model will be discussed in our coming video. So IS and LM model helps us explain the position and the slope of the aggregate demand curve. The aggregate demand curve in turn is a piece of the model of aggregate supply and aggregate demand which economists use to explain uh, we have highlighted uh, about that the short run effects of policy change and other evils on national income so this is all about uh, the short run equilibrium of is and lm model so see you with another video ciao